So my name is Julie Rolla and I've been a gymnast most of my life. I'm 31 years old and I am still competing. So I first tore my ACL um, when I was 29. So I competed gymnastics throughout college. Uh, and decided that I wasn't done and kept going. So at 29, uh, I tore my ACL competing in gymnastics national, national championships. So uh, originally when I tore my ACL, uh, I went into the ER, I think probably normal protocol. Um, and a lot of the answers I got were surgery, surgery. I think in the end I saw eight doctors, eight orthopedics, yeah. And um, I actually didn't get any difference in responses. Um, but had a family friend who is a doctor and he kind of helped me do a little research. So I contacted the clinic and I found Dr. Bashir. So Julie had a tear of her anterior cruciate ligament, her ACL. This is a ligament that runs between her femur and her tibia and prevents translation of those bones during explosive activities such as gymnastics or football or soccer. The procedure itself was, um, it was fine. It, it, I think I've had surgery before, so I feel like compared to surgery, it was, it was definitely easier. Um, and afterward, the heal time, I think, for myself was, you know, somewhat similar, but mostly because I'm a gymnast and I thought taking it slowly was probably the best choice I could make. Um, but, I mean, to be honest, uh, the comeback was remarkable. I feel like it definitely is more like my knee than I could have imagined after surgery. Comparing now Julie's MRI from April of 2016 to her MRI from July of 2017, after her second round of precisely guided, bone marrow derived stem cell injections into her anterior cruciate ligament, we see further healing, thickening, darkening of the ACL more towards a normal appearing anterior cruciate ligament. I mean, I'm doing gymnastics again at pretty much full force. I mean, it's the idea of still getting these scales back, but I'm training to compete again this year. I'm, I'm 31, I tore one in 29. So the fact that I'm going for another round and confident enough that I can do that is pretty remarkable.